Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen different types of data communication between LWC components, right? So we have seen there are three types of communication between LWC components: parent to child communication, child to parent communication, and communication between unrelated components. In this video, we will see parent to child communication. Now see. So in last video, we have seen which component is called as parent component. And which component is called as child component. So see, component which contains another component is called as parent component, and component which is part of another component is called as child component. Right? So see, this bigger rectangle shows parent component, and this small rectangle shows child component. In this video, we will see how to communicate between parent to child, or how to pass message from parent component to child component. So see, here arrow is shown. We want to pass message. From parent component to child component, and how it is done? It is done by using public properties, and public properties can be defined by using add API decorator. In this video, we will see one example, and from that example, it will be very clear. Now, see one thing is important. Here we have to use kebab case. What is the meaning of kebab case? So, see, respective phrase will be transferred to all lower case with hyphen separating words. So, for example, here you can see header label. So, see from this capital letter, it is considered that new word has started. So, see in this word there are two sub words, right? Header and label. And how we will come to know another word has started? So, see if any word is started with a capital letter, then we will say it is another word, right? So, see so here there are two words, header and label. So, in kebab case, it will be written like this: header. Hyphen and label. So in this video, we will see how to use kebab case to pass message from parent component to child component, and also we have to use add API decorator. So see, we will have one example, and from that example, it will be very clear. So see, we will create one component. We will give some name, child component two, something like this. Then we will give default directory. Okay, so see, here we got child component two, and here are three files, right? Now see, in HTML file, here we will add lightning card like this. We will add one title to this card. So see, title is equal to suppose parent to child data communication, something like this, right? Okay, now see. Here we will add one message. Hello. One property we will define in JavaScript file, and that property here we will use. Suppose full name, something like this. So see, property name is full name, and exclamation mark, like this, right? So hello, full name, and this full name we will define in JavaScript file. Okay, we will save it. Now see, in JavaScript file, we will add one property. Full name is equal to, and suppose here we will add Parag Jambulkar, something like this, right? Okay. So see, here we have added one property. Full name is equal to Parag Jambulkar. Now see, we want to make it public property so that we can access this property from the other components, right? So for that purpose, we have to use add API decorator like this. So to make this property as a public property, here we have to use decorator at API. So see from this import statement, we have to import API decorator from LWC component, right? Okay. So I have saved this. Now see, I want to include this child component into parent component, right? So in metadata XML file, there is no need to set true value for is exposed tag. Okay. So we will keep it false only. Okay. Now see. We will create one more component. So see, we will right click on this, create Lightning Web component. We will give name Parent Component Two. Enter. We will give default directory. Okay. So see, this parent component is created. Now see, in HTML file, Lightning Card like this. Now see. So in this parent component, we have to include child component, right? So in diagram we have seen 
in this parent component we have to add child component right in parent component we have to add child component and how it can be add by using kebab case by using kebab case so see how to add so see we have to create one tag and how to create c c because it is a child component so c hyphen now see what is our child component name child component 2 right so see child hyphen component 2 like this so see in this parent component we are including child component by using kebab key so see c hyphen this c stands for child component and then our component name was child component 2 so there were two words child and component 2 how we come to know component is another word because this component has started from capital letter c right that's why child is one word right then hyphen then component 2 that is another word and everything should be written in lower case letter like this right so by this we can include child component into parent component right okay now see in this javascript file later on something we will add okay and in this meta.xml file here we have to make it true and target we will add lightning app page like this now we will deploy both child component 2 and parent component 2 so first we have to deploy child component 2 and after that we have to deploy parent component 2 so see we will right click on this deploy source to org okay it got deployed then parent component 2 deploy source to org okay it is done suppose if we want to add that component into our lightning app page suppose in lightning app page lwc project 1 so in previous video we have seen how to create lightning app page if you are not knowing how to create lightning app page then please go through that video okay now see on this lightning app page we will add our component so see we will click on this gear icon edit page now see scroll down so here we have custom components and our custom component name is parent component 2 right we will drag and drop okay we will save it back button so here you can see parent to child data communication and here it is hello parag zambulkar right hello parag zambulkar so from where we got hello parag zambulkar this parag zambulkar is said by child component and what we see is this parent component right this is parent component and in this parent component we have this child component right output of child component we can see on this parent component right okay now see this parag zambulkar that was the value given to full name property that was defined in child component right now see what we will do from the parent component we will change value of full name property full name property is property of child component but that we will change from the parent component and from parent component we will send new value to the full name property of child component right so from parent component from this parent component we will give new value to the full name property of child component so how it is done see this is our parent component this is html file and by this tag we have included child component into parent component right now see we want to change value of full name property of child component so see full name right so full dash name why it is written like this full name n was capital there right here you can see full name so here are two words full and name why name is considered as another word because this n is capital right this name has started with n as capital letter that's why it will be considered as there are two words right okay now see in parent component in html file so see full dash name and everything should be in small letter right okay is equal to here we will give some value so see directly also i can give suppose i want to give something like this so that also i can do so see to full name property of child component here i am allocating new value so by this also i can do or see i am copying this and here what we will do here we will add one property suppose name 
and this name property we will define in javascript file javascript file of parent component so see suppose here i am defining it like this so see from the parent component we are sending new value to the child component right we are passing message from parent component to child component right so see again we will deploy so see we have changed parent component only right so that we will deploy okay it is done now see we will refresh it by control f5 so here you can see mayur chavan in child component what is the value see in this child component what is the value parag jambulkar right but in parent component we have set new value that is mayur chavan to this property full name right full name is a property of child component and to this property we have allocated new value right from parent component we have allocated new value to the property of child component so in this way we can pass message from parent component to child component and for that purpose we have to use add api decorator and also we have to use kebab case in next video we will see how to do child to parent communication so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you